Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for being here. My name is Andrew coming to you from the beautiful Carolinas. Today's topic is going to be why your silence wins. Think about that for a minute. Everyone, if you like the content, please like, subscribe, and share. So I am doing a fresher version on this because so many people are wanting me to speak on silence. They're wanting me to speak on the power of silence and what it means in the narcissistic relationship specifically post narcissistic relationship so here we go your silence is very powerful it's extremely empowering and it speaks volumes to the narcissistic relationship post relationship remember when you were in the relationship with the narcissist you were given the silent treatment your voice wasn't heard you were silenced this was a very challenging period of time the relationship that you were in you were being, being treated not even as an equal to the narcissist. As a matter of fact, complete strangers many times were treated better than you. You now know that, we know that, and no longer do we tolerate poor behavior like that because we now have the wisdom. We have now seen behind the mask. We've now seen the charade. We've now seen what the narcissist actually is. What they are is nothing more than a petulant child, somebody who wanted to have you listen to their words and to do what they wanted, when they wanted, with whom they wanted. They wanted to control you, manipulate you. And when you would stand up for yourself or say things, they wouldn't listen to you. They would just gaslight you or give you the silent treatment or act like they didn't hear you. And you found yourself being silent and being silenced throughout the relationship. But yet you continue to work for the narcissist. I don't say that lightly. Most likely, most of your resources were taken from you, meaning your energy, your finances, your time, your love, your empathy, your trust, your social circle, your network of friends, your day-to-day -day hobbies, activities, things that were important to you were slowly and insidiously removed and you were now being looked upon as nothing but a puppet or a pawn to the narcissist. And your words were given no meaning. In other words, they may give you lip service and say, yeah, sounds good, I think that's a great idea, but then tomorrow when you would see them, they would claim that that idea came from another individual and you again would be silenced. You'd be not given credit for a great idea. This is all throughout the body of the relationship. But when your silence wins, what that means is post relationship, this is when you go no contact, you block the narcissist, you remove them and all flying monkeys and people associated with them. Now I say that in the channel so frequently because I want you to understand the power of being silent post relationship this is a there's a huge difference between someone silencing you and you becoming silent and that will be you post relationship at least that's my hope so the examples of being silent post relationship are yes you've now figured out that that individual is in fact a toxic individual perhaps a narcissist but you don't call them out you don't give the smear campaign any credit meaning you don't defend yourself I mean I know many of you have done that many of you think it's the path you do what you believe is best for you. However, taking the high road and letting the individuals believe what they want to about the smear campaign, that's the path that I took. In other words, I didn't give it any energy. And to this day, I don't and I won't. That's being silent. That is taking the high road, doing the right thing in my eyes. Now, having said that, just because you figured out who the narcissist is doesn't mean you call them out. I strongly suggest you don't. I also suggest that you block them, go no contact and everything that I've mentioned. Having said that, you don't explain yourself to people because you went down that path also post-relationship. I'm certain you leaned on maybe family members or you leaned on people that were there for you in the past and maybe you burnt out some of these relationships. Maybe they, they couldn't be there for you the way that they thought, the way that you thought they would be there for you. And to some of these people, it is their fault. To others, it's not. And I'll tell you why, because many people didn't want you to, let's say, get through it. It's true. Other people, maybe they could be there for you and support you, but they couldn't wrap their head around narcissism. So they didn't know what you were talking about and they couldn't process it. So that is not their fault. They don't, they didn't, they didn't get it. But you figured out rather quickly that people can't wrap their head around narcissistic abuse unless they experienced it. That again is why you're getting the wisdom on the channel and becoming silent is empowering. Ex example, let's say, let's put narcissism on the side for a minute. Say you're at a get together or at an event and there are people communicating, just talking freely, and usually there's one or two people that's a little more loud than other individuals, right? Well, think about it. Do you have to be loud to be heard? 
You don't. You can be silent and still be heard. In other words, use your words wisely. Choose when you want to use your words. Have your words be powerful. Have them have a meaning. Don't talk and or communicate just to be heard. That's what the narcissist does. That's not what we do. When we have something to say, we will say it. Until then, we will observe, listen, maintain our boundaries that we've now built in place. We will now say no to invitations or offers of things that in the past we would have said yes to at the drop of a hat. We now are not people pleasers. We now understand that being silent is so empowering and it is sending a clear message to the individual, whoever you're thinking of, that no, you don't wanna partake in a friendship or in a relationship or whatever you're thinking about right now. Because remember, many times on the planet, the best thing to do is nothing. Think, that, think about that, play that again. Many times the best thing to do on the planet is nothing. Now I'm not suggesting sit on your couch and eat Cheetos and bonbons and watch reruns of sitcoms from 30 years ago. That's not doing nothing. That's actually not spending your time wisely in my opinion. But the point being, doing nothing means just because you can say something or prove your point or explain something to an individual as to why or why not you, you do or do not wanna do something, you don't have to do it because your silence speaks volumes. Your silence wins. This is when people will look at you differently. This is when, once you've mastered how to become silent, and believe me, it will take some time, but post-narcissistic relationship, my hope is you get there. It is very empowering. It means you don't just talk just to talk. As a matter of fact, you don't talk, you communicate. Think about it. Huge difference between talking and communicating. Communicating is sharing wisdom, sharing experiences and insights with another individual, and my hope is vice versa. Talking is just talking about small things like, how's the weather? And, oh, you, you know, your sneakers need to get cleaned or, you know, something just simple and trite. Trite is a very good word, by the way. But having said that, that's what the narcissist will do. They won't talk of any substance. They won't have any, any intelligent communication. What they will do is they will talk about nonsense. They will give you lip service. They will blame shift. They will give you the silent treatment. They will invalidate you. Remember, the narcissist wants you entrenched in the zombie-like, trance-like state, the narcissistic fog, or the devaluation stage where you don't know what's going on. You just know that you're getting less and less of a relationship and you're working harder and harder to get back to that euphoric stage or the beginning of the relationship. And every time you would want to communicate with the narcissist and say, hey, can we sit down and talk about these things? Because, you know, it seems to me like I'm giving almost everything and you're receiving everything, but you're not giving anything. I need to receive something because a relationship is built on trust, honesty, commitment, and fortitude. It's built on two people playing that tennis match, going back and forth and back and forth. It's not one person dictating to another individual what they want them to do. And if they don't do it, they get the silent treatment or they experience a rage fit or they're gaslit or stonewalled, etc. Ghosted, who knows? But understand the message. There's a huge difference between talking and communicating. And there's a huge difference between being silenced and being silent. Really get the message. When you are silenced, it's as if someone tells you, shh, or quiet, or I don't want to hear about it, or we'll talk about it later, or no, that's not important. Okay, that's, those are some examples. And being silent is observing the situation, the circumstances, and saying to yourself, can you change these? Can you influence these? Can you make the, the point go in a different direction for the betterment of whatever you're thinking about? And if you can, speak your mind, do what you want to do. But if your words are gonna fall upon deaf ears, i.e. a narcissist, why even communicate? Think about it. Why defend yourself? Why explain yourself? Why tell them what you're doing? Any of these things. This, this goes for, for people that are in the relationship who are looking to exit it, and certainly for people who have already exited it because my hope is you everyone who all those people are either utilizing gray rock if they can or have removed the narcissist and blocked them etc but when your silence wins it's empowering it conserves your energy it saves your energy it allows you to communicate with whom you want when you want in whatever time you want and communication is a powerful tool it's something the narcissist lacks remember the narcissist is a coward and a bully, and they like to dictate, and they like to drill into people's minds what they should or shouldn't be doing. Because remember, at the end of the day, 
the narcissist believes they're better and superior to everybody. They are, they do. I'm, I mean, they do believe that. They certainly aren't are, but they believe that. And that's why they act the way they do many times, not always, but many times. And then when you are giving them the treatment that they gave you, meaning you're becoming silent, that's when you win. That's when it's checkmate and you win the game. You win this whole thing called the narcissistic relationship. Now, keep in mind, life isn't a game to us. Life is a game of opportunity to the narcissist, but I can assure you, the narcissist wants to win at all costs in anything they do, I can promise you. That's why they wanna pull, pull one over on everybody. That's why they wanna win court cases on custody and assets and houses and settlements and all that. that. Those are just microcosms, but the point being, your silence, when your silence wins, it's when you save the words of about any topic, but specifically to the narcissist or the relationship. And you just, you don't have to explain it to anybody. You don't have to defend yourself. You can just let people think whatever they want to. They can see the narcissist in whatever light they want to see them in. Because if they're seeing them not in the proper light, all that means is they're believing the mask. Or they're a flying monkey or they're an enabler. Or they just don't want to see it. Now, it, for people that made it this far in the video, who have gone through the narcissistic abusive cycle, you now know that explaining things to people post-relationship many times, it, it's, it falls upon deaf ears because many people can't wrap their head around it. Many people believe in the smear campaign and many people sincerely don't have the bandwidth to understand what, what's going on. We in the community do. That's why we drop comments, we share insight and wisdom with each other in the community. That's the path. But the path also is to understand when your silence wins, it's when you finally close the chapter on the book of the book on the narcissist. You know who they are, you've identified them, you've learned the glossary, the de definitions and the terms, and you, just your wisdom alone is empowerment enough. Meaning you don't have to explain it to people. You don't, you, as a matter of fact, you get to the point where you don't wanna explain it to anybody. And that is the pinnacle of indifference. That's the mountaintop of indifference. When you have learned the life lesson that yes, in fact, you did have to go through the narcissistic relationship and you did just that. And then it almost took you down for the count, but it didn't. And here you are, you've risen through the ashes like a phoenix. And now you are in the third version of you, the best, strongest, the galvanized version of you. And your silence wins. When it wins is when you actually understand getting payback isn't the path. Calling them out isn't getting the path. Getting revenge isn't the path. Answering a Hoover certainly isn't the path. Wanting to get payback and wanting to tell people about the narcissist, that's not gonna get you anywhere. The path is taking the high road, continuing to become educated and awakened and aware and understanding that you are the bright shining light. You are the one with the power. You are the one with the control. You are the one that can do whatever you want to. You always could. You simply lost that ability when you were in the, in the narcissistic relationship for a period of time, which was the length of the relationship. Once the relationship ended and the dust has settled and you pick, put yourself back together, and again, I don't say that lightly, it took a mountain of work. That's when you understand silence is the path, but not just with the narcissist or the people associated with the narcissist. It's with virtually everybody on the planet. In other words, you are now vibrating at such a higher level than a lot of people if you've come through the fire of the narcissistic relationship and you now see things differently and you will figure out rather quickly if that is you, it certainly is me, that you don't need to explain yourself to anybody about anything. You do the best you can each and every day and if people understand and they can speak on your wavelength, that's great. If they can't, that means they still have healing to do and they still have work to do. And there's nothing wrong with that. The whole point is you are now galvanized. This is now a superpower. I'm talking about coming through the narcissistic abusive cycle and healing properly. This is a language that you speak, that I speak, that most of us in the community speak. We didn't ask to be taught this language, but yet we were. And now we need to utilize it to benefit ourselves. So guys, that's the video. I hope you liked it. I loved doing it from the sunny Carolinas. This is Andrew. Namaste. Have a great afternoon. Stay true, stay blessed. Continue to become awakened and aware and understand you are the priority. You come first, second, and third. Your silence wins. It wins when you finally get the message that by saying nothing, just simply doing nothing, that will benefit you a lot of times, a lot more times than you believe. And defending yourself and saying a, B, and C, and trying to communicate with the narcissist, it's not gonna work. You're basically better off talking to a wall. 
sorry, but it's true because at least the wall is not gonna give you word salad and blame you. The wall's gonna sit there and listen to your words, which actually will echo back into you and there you go. But when you're talking to the narcissist, no. All they're gonna do is deny, 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 play the victim, blame you, and you're, it's gonna, it's gonna lead to, it's not gonna lead anywhere positive. So guys, no matter where you are on the planet, you are not alone. God bless you, I love you. Remember, you are not alone. Have a great afternoon and I'll talk to you tomorrow. All right, bye guys.